loves and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a tech review for you today. Now I am not a tech reviewer by nature, I am usually the person who would only ever review an eyeshadow palette. But recently I was contacted by a brand called Sunu who make a really interesting echolocation device that's been made for people who are blind or have visual impairments to enable them to navigate the world around them and I was asked if I would like to review one in return to be sent the band that I'm wearing in question to review and I said yes because in the, in the past it's been a bit, bit of a running joke people have said to me a couple of times can you do echolocation or have you heard about echolocation have you heard about echolocation echolocation I've just been a bit like uh, no 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 honey I'm not I'm not daredevil I'm not daredevil but this came on the market and actually I'm having to kind of hold back my words a little bit now because echolocation when you're visually impaired may be more of a possibility than you thought with this new piece of technology and today I'm going to be explaining why that is. So if you are interested stick around and I'll explain more about this device and how you as a visually impaired person may be able to indeed harness the power of echolocation. Also, if you're interested, I do have a discount code which you can use to stay till the end of the video if you're interested and there'll be a discount code for you guys to get 10% off an order if you are interested. Let me just make something clear. This video is not sponsored by Sunu and I am not an affiliate with Sunu, but this band was sent to me by Sunu for me to review. So thank you Sunu for sending this to me. The Sunu band is an echolocation device that helps people who are blind or have low vision to navigate the world around them and their surroundings using something called sonar technology. So basically, sonar is what dolphins use. And I love dolphins, so that makes me very happy. And basically how this device works is it will send out sound waves into the environment, which will then feed back to the device when the sound waves connect with an object. And then what will happen is this device will feed that back to you using something called haptic gestures, which is basically a vibration that you'll feel through the band. So to explain this simply, the further you are away from an object, the slower and the more spaced out the vibrations are. And then as you get closer, the vibrations become quicker and more rapid until eventually it's a constant hum when you are on top of the object to let you know that you are very nearby to something that you might collide with. So it's very easy after a while to get used to knowing the difference between when you're away from an object to when you are closer to an object. This device has two modes, an indoor mode and an outdoor mode. The indoor mode is designed for closer confined spaces, so when you need feedback when you are closer to an object in a smaller space, and an outdoor mode which can detect things at a further distance from you. Although this device isn't just for echolocation, it does have a number of other features that you can access. This device has a sonar sensor which always has to be in line with your thumb no matter what hand you use it on. It also has two buttons. It has a home button which you can use to exit any app or any feature that you're using and it also has the app menu button which is also what you use to access the two different sonar modes and then it also has a touchpad at the top which is receptive to certain gestures like tapping and swiping this device also comes with the free download of an app for both Android and iOS users as well. And once you have paired your device to your phone, it's pretty much very easy to use and you can access all the features that this device can do from the app. One thing I liked about the device is that it has a voice option which you can enable. So when you want to use the app or the band, if you enable the voice option, it will basically give you audio feedback on what app you're on, on what mode you are, on the sonar mode. The way that you access the sonar modes is by turning the device on and then clicking on the app menu button once and then using the touchpad you swipe outwards if you want to use the outdoor sonar mode and inwards if you want to use the indoor sonar mode. Now when I was using this device out and about one thing I did notice between the two modes is that the indoor sonar mode was a little bit more subtler compared to when you used it outdoors and I could definitely feel that the vibrations were a little bit more not aggressive because that makes it sound scary but you could definitely feel them more prominently than when you were using the indoor mode and I think that's probably a lot more useful because when you're outdoors usually it can be quite loud quite busy and I think that's a really good feature that this device actually has another thing that I liked about this device was that you can actually customize the obstacle detection and the haptics feedback directly on the app so if you would like to have a further distance that it can detect when you're indoors or outdoors 
or a shorter distance you can change it if you so wish but then you can also reset it if you're not happy with it and then the same goes for the haptics if you want a higher intensity haptics feedback you can have that or if you want something a little bit more lower and more subtle you can change that as well from the app too this device also has a number of other features on it as well so it can be used to tell the time it can detect local landmarks around you such as banks ATMs, shops and so on. It can be used as a pedometer, you can use it as a compass as well and you can also use it linked up with the app to find your phone if you've lost it, if you're anything like me. Now this device really does come in useful when you're tackling objects that are higher above you or above waist height. So I used it in different situations. I took it to the park and I was walking along this really 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 crowded pathway there where there was loads of overhanging branches and loads of shrubbery and I found that it pretty much constantly vibrated the whole time which pretty much indicated that there was a lot of things in the way. I've used it both indoors and outdoors. When I was indoors I took it around my local supermarket and it was really useful for navigating around the aisles. I used it when I went to a few different museums in London. I've used it when I went to shops and cafes. I used it when I was queuing up to purchase things and I found this device was really really useful when I was queuing. The reason for that is when I queue I can't always see if someone's moved forward in the queue or sometimes I move forward too much and I bump into them because I can't really tell the distance. I haven't got a lot of depth perception so this device really came in handy for that because it would actually vibrate a little bit less as a person moved up in the queue so I knew how much I could move forward without bumping into them and colliding into them so I did find that really useful. When I was using the outdoor mode I find this device really good to help me detect if there's any pavement obstacles so for example wheelie bins or if I'm coming up to an overhanging shrub or if there's roadworks on the road, things like that. It comes in really useful for that. Generally, anything that's protruding above you, anything that's going to directly obstruct you, it's not going to be any use if you're trying to detect things like steps or curbs, but certainly if you struggle with trying to navigate your way through crowded areas and there's a lot of pavement clutter then you will find this device comes in really handy for this and it also really helped me to navigate my way around a lot of shrubbery and overhanging branches. I've used this device both when I use my long cane and my guide dog. Personally I find that this device comes in a lot more handy when I'm using my long cane just because I'm not always able to detect a lot of the objects myself so this device does a lot of it for me. I also use this device with my guide dog. I used it when I was going to a setting that I hadn't ever been to before and I wasn't really sure which way I needed to go so this device was really useful because I could know what was around me to give my guide dog instructions about what to do next. It's not going to replace the aids you already have but it can certainly work in conjunction with them and it can form a really valuable tool especially when you're in new situations or if you're in a very crowded area. Living in London you have very narrow streets in London especially the older parts of London and trying to walk through when you've got a lot of people in the way as well trying to congregate in this one area it can be absolute hell but this device was really good because you could really get a sense of how crowded an area was if i walked down the street and it was crowded it would literally be like a constant vibration compared to maybe a more wider street that didn't have as much traffic or as much pedestrians on it it was a little bit less frequent and as you turn and pivoted your wrist you could really tell which parts of the street were a little bit more quieter compared to what parts of the street were a bit more crowded. One thing I will say about this device is that you have to be mindful of where you're pointing it. When I first started to use it, I sometimes would point it in the wrong direction so it would pick up things that were slightly to my left or to my right or at a 30 degree angle. So when you're using this device, you have to really try and keep it straight. You can of course move it. If you want to get an idea of what's to either side of you, I would suggest moving it from either side pretty much like you would do with your long cane so you can get an idea of what's around you and I definitely feel this device would be a useful tool to have in your arsenal especially if you travel quite a lot or you go to new situations and you want to have something extra to back you up when you're in a new situation. This device can also be used to count steps, it has a pedometer on it as well but personally I feel that this section of the app could do with some improvements because I feel like if they added some more fitness options to this device and it had added some more options for you to be able to really track your fitness and monitor your fitness it would definitely improve this app but all in all I think this device has some really useful features the sonar mode is actually really useful for lots of different situations and I've actually found that it's made me more confident to get out and about be it either with my guide dog or with my long cane. I used this device at different times of the day I used it in daylight and I also used it at night when it was dark However, I sadly couldn't really get any footage of it on my phone or on my camera because I couldn't really film in the dark, but you have to take my word for it. 
then it really really helped because I go completely blind in the dark and I found it was really useful for that. I as someone with only central vision, no peripheral vision and very kind of short distance vision and no sight in one eye found this device useful. I'm actually going to be taking this device with me when I go to Edinburgh for a short trip at the end of the month somewhere I've never been so I'm definitely going to be taking this device along with me and I'm probably going to be vlogging with it then as well so if you're interested do keep a look out on my channel and do be sure to subscribe and click the little notification bell down below to receive updates so you don't miss that one. This device retails for $299 on the Sunu website and they also ship worldwide but as promised I do have a discount code for you guys to use so if you want to get 10% off your order all you have to do is enter the code EMILY at checkout when you order this band and you'll get 10% off your order. So that concludes this review today I really hope you found this useful do let me know in the comments what you think about this device. Have you used it before? Have you got it yourself? What are your thoughts on echolocation? Would you use this device? Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and click the little notification bell to receive new updates when I make new videos. And once again, thank you to Sunu for sending me this device to try and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!